All right, this is the Fantasy Sports Boss with another video for you. Good morning. It's Tuesday morning. Wanted to do a uh, fantasy football uh, trend or mirage video. Haven't done this one, uh, this feature in a while. Uh, and I figure it's perfect when discussing Christian Watson, the rookie wide receiver for the Green Bay Packers, who absolutely went bonkers uh, in Week 10. And finally, after a lot of injuries, a lot of inconsistent play, a lot of drops, he put himself on the fantasy football map with a game, uh, to, uh, a breakout game for the ages for him. Uh, four catches for 107 yards, three touchdowns, 26.8 a pop against the Dallas Cowboys to help spring a 31-28 upset of Dallas. Uh, so Watson... You know, ju just like that, we've seen tantalizing glimpses of the guy who was the team's first round draft pick in 2022. Um, certainly a small school uh, background, North Dakota State. And the thinking was, is that he was going to require some extra seasoning, some extra time to get acclimated to the NFL game uh, coming from that small school environment. But the raw skills were there, 6'5", 208, blazing speed. You don't get this kind of physical combination, the height and the speed uh, of, uh, of receivers in today's game. And that's what made Watson so tantalizing. But, of course, he came down with injuries in the, uh, the summer and training camp that limited his time and his appearance in the games. Uh, also, uh, into the season, he dealt with a concussion, um, uh, some aches and pains, nicks and bruises elsewhere. And in addition to that, Bad case of the drop sees. And even in the Dallas game, he had a bad drop early on in the game where he probably could have had a fourth touchdown. Um, Aaron Rodgers has been very critical of him and Romeo Dobbs and the other receivers for drop passes throughout the season. But it finally all came together in this game against Dallas. Now, the question is, is was that a trend, the start of a trend, or is it a mirage? Uh, my thinking on this one is that I think... Aaron Rodgers has been desperate for a go-to deep big play receiver ever since Devontae Adams was traded in the offseason. Uh, it's been the missing element for this offense. As, as solid a receiver as Alan Lazard is, he is that's not his game, the deep big play. Um, he's a good route runner, decent speed, not great speed. He finds open seams. He's a good red zone target, but he's not a, one, a wide receiver one. And even a wide receiver two might be stretching it. Uh, Randall Cobb is an aging veteran who just doesn't have any speed anymore. Robert Tonian is a plodding tight end. Uh, Romeo Dobbs had, was playing well, but he's out for the next four to six weeks with a high ankle sprain. So that the guy, the big play uh, guy that for this offense, certainly Christian Watson physically uh, is the ideal fit. So now that the um, the the rose is off the bloom, so to speak, and 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 Watson put forth such a big effort. And it was also key that Rodgers kept going back to him after the early drop in the Dallas game. I think that this is the start of a trend. We saw how explosive this Packers offense looked with Watson making the plays he made. You have an offensive coach here who certainly is going to go back to the well with Watson, seeing how well it works, seeing how it, it was able to upset the Cowboys. And Rodgers, now that he has this new toy that's firing on all cylinders, making those big plays down the field, is going to go back to Watson. And really, it came at the expense of Lazard in this Dallas game, and I think it's going to continue going forward. So if you own Watson, congratulations. Start playing him as your wide receiver three, or more ideally as a flex. If he's on waivers, make it a uh, priority claim for Wednesday waivers. All right, again, hit that subscribe, hit that notification button. 1,000 subscribers in the book. Let's get to 2,000. Uh, uh, more videos on the way, guys. Take care.